Some of the challenges that Iridex Micropulse technology can address for me is uh, we encounter certain uh, pathologies in the retina clinic uh, that creates dilemmas for us. Uh, for example, a patient who comes in with mild diabetic uh, macroedema who is symptomatic, the question is, do you watch them? Uh, do you start them and commit them to monthly anti-VEGF injections? Or can you use other uh, treatment options? And the other in this situation would be the Iridex Micropulse Focal Laser. Another example is a patient who is on chronic anti-VEGF treatment who stops responding to anti-VEGF. Um, you can either start with Avastin or Lucentis and then you go to ILEA if that's the regimen you like to use. But then the question is, what happens when ILEA stops working? So in these patients, uh, I also like to incorporate Micropulse Focal Laser uh, and then restart them on uh, anti-VEGF treatment. And in most cases, they do beautifully. Micropulse uh, has led to less injections in my clinic uh, for example, a patient with diabetic macular edema who is mild, uh, in some centers or some clinics, they may incorporate anti-VEGF treatment. Uh, in my clinic, I prefer to use the Iridex Micropulse laser on such a patient, and of course that leads to less visits for the patient, less uh, reliance on anti-VEGF treatments. And also in some uh, end-stage wet macular degeneration patients who are non-responsive to anti-VEGF, uh, I incorporate Micropulse laser. So my general advice to other retina specialists would be to, number one, always look to expand your armamentarium uh, of tools available for treatment. And number two, specifically as it relates to Micropulse technology, is that in cases where people feel like Micropulse does not work, invariably I find that they either are under-treating uh, in terms of number of spots or they're not using the correct settings or both. If you use the right settings and or the correct protocol for Micropulse laser, uh, it works very nicely in most patients. The ideal candidate, in my opinion, uh, is a patient who is younger, uh, so diabetics tend to be younger than your AMD patients, uh, who have mild diabetic macular edema, who are somewhat symptomatic. Uh, those are the patients who are ideal. Also, another ideal patient is somebody who has chronic uh, central serous retinopathy, who has tried anti-VEGF treatment, which works sometimes and sometimes does not work. Those are ideal candidates for micropulse focal laser. Why? Because it reduces their uh, need for anti-VEGF treatment. They don't have to come in every month. And also the benefit of Micropulse in a CSR uh, case is that it leaves no, no burns, no scars, no scotomas. So in those patients, I like to use a Micropulse focal. The way I explain Micropulse uh, laser treatment to patients is that I'm using a light laser treatment, not a regular laser, but a light laser treatment uh, that leaves no scars uh, in the retina and that they will not feel any pain. I feel that most of the time, patients are concerned about number one, is this going to hurt? And number two, is this gonna leave any kind of scars or is my vision going to get worse because you've done the laser? And in some cases, they will confuse micropulse laser with conventional continuous laser that was used in the pre-anti-VEGF era. And they, of course, know friends who have lost vision from laser. And so my job is to educate them and tell them that this is a totally different technology and that it will not leave any scars uh, and then they will feel no pain with the laser. I've incorporated Micropulse laser in my practice in many different ways. Number one, uh, in some cases I use it as monotherapy. So for example, a patient who has mild uh, diabetic macular edema, uh, I sometimes use it as monotherapy. Uh, and in other cases where they have more moderate or severe cases of macular edema, I will start off with anti-VEGF treatment I will bring their central retinal thickness to less than 400 microns, and then I will incorporate the Micropulse focal laser. Why 400 uh, microns? There's some data that was published a few years ago, actually, from my uh, fellowship program, where we found that the patients who had less than 400 microns of thickness responded better to uh, Micropulse laser than those with over 400 uh, microns of thickness. Also, in cases of uh, wet macular degeneration that is unresponsive to anti-VEGF treatment, I will incorporate uh, in some patients a Micropulse focal laser, uh, and then I will restart the anti-VEGF treatment. And the thinking with that is that there is some receptor uh, reactivation theory. Uh, there was a paper published on this, a very nice paper, that uh, showed that there's probably a, a reactivation of the receptors uh, in the retina that allows the anti-VEGF treatments to begin to work again. So in those cases, I also use it. And of course, in chronic CSR patients, and to, uh, the Micropulse focal laser works very nicely. So in three words, I would describe Micropulse focal laser as safe, innovative, and effective.
So the value and benefit of working with Iridex is that I'm working with a company that has a solid reputation uh, and they have a phenomenal product uh, in the Micropulse Focal Laser. And if need be, the support staff is extremely knowledgeable and always available.